Before we move forward, let's take a look at a completely different problem, heat conduction in 1D. Heat conduction in 1D is uh, governed by two uh, physics. One is called the Fourier's laws of heat, law of heat conduction, which says that heat flux is proportional to the negative rate of change of temperature. So if we call heat flux Q of X, so Q of X is some K of X, which is a constant, which is a coefficient of proportionality times minus d t hat by t dx, where t hat is the temperature function. The other physics is the conservation of energy, which says that in a given region called control volume, the rate of heat coming in is equal to the rate of heat going out. So let's consider a one-dimensional region, as shown here, which is being heated. Um, by a source, heat source um, S hat of X for unit length. Uh, the left end of this, the right end of this region, uh, has a constant heat, is kept at a constant heat flux of Q bar, and the left end uh, is held at a constant temperature of T0. So if we cut out a piece between positions x1 and x2, and write conservation of energy. So we have heat flux Q of x1 coming in from the left, Q of x2 going out from the right, the heat source S hat of x. So conservation of energy is minus Q of x2 plus Q of x1 plus the integral from x1 to x2 S hat of x dx equals zero which applying the fundamental theorem of calculus gives us this. So this whole story can again be represented in the form of a 20 diagram. The temperature T hat takes the place of displacement. The heat source takes the place of external force. The temperature, rate of change of temperature takes the place of strain, although this particular quantity doesn't have any special name. The heat flux takes the role of internal axial force. So we have minus d by dx, thermal conductivity, d by dx, and the boundary conditions. So we see how much the Taunty diagram for 1D heat conduction resembles the Taunty diagram for the axially loaded bar. And this is the benefit of the Taunty diagram, that it kind of unifies a lot of things. In fact, much of mechanics can be represented in this way. Another physics that can be represented by a very similar Taunty diagram is the lateral deflection of a thought, of a thought spring. You should look that up.